Hi everyone and happy holidays. I have donned my festive top and I am going to be showing you some things that might make for wonderful end of the year holiday gifts, either for yourself or for someone else. Mr. Carr, who, although he passed away in 2007, has had the good fortune to have his family keep on issuing the wonderful calendars, which are available for 2021. I also want to bring your attention to Luca Martino's book on the topic of stencil printmaking by Takahashi Hiromitsu. So these are available and these would be small gift items. And now I'm going to run through some of the artwork that we thought would be particularly appropriate for the holidays. We showed you a Karhu calendar. Well, his son, Joel Karhu, has now started making woodblocks. And this very colorful wabiske shows a Kyoto street in the rain. Saito Noriko has also adopted the very bright primary colors in this print called Sunbeam. Just behind me is the same technique as Saito Noriko, a dry point etching by Nishimura Ryo. And since we're all thinking about food during this holiday time, what could be better than a luscious onion ready to unpeel? Yamanaka Gen's delicate wood blocks might appeal to someone who really enjoys the subtlety of life. These are done on handmade washi. For a little bit of holiday sparkle, we have Imamura Yoshio's intriguing etchings. Imamura-san lives in the countryside and he delights in showing us bunches of flowers. This one called Moonlight has the ev evocative feeling of a starry sky. Do you feel like you've been in a rush this holiday season? Well, jump on an umbrella with Kuroda Shigeki. These very intriguing little etchings will take you far away. Sometimes we're just looking for a perfect small gift, and these delicate works by Okada Marie are just the perfect thing. In this green one, she shows us a little bit of collage too with the handmade paper. Sadly, Tanaka Ryohei is no longer with us, and this etching was done just a few years ago. It's one of the last ones he ever made, but it's a real tour de force with these incredible lines incised into the copper plate. Ted Collier from Canada has just brought forth this magnificent woodblock. It's called Dialogue, and the power and the magnificence of these trees is just gorgeous for the holidays. It's been quite a year, 2020, and Tamekane Yoshikatsu decided to create a series of prints thanking the essential workers and first responders who've taken such good care of all of us this, this year. In these series, embellished with gold leaf and his wonderful use of gradation, respectively titled The Road, A Challenger, and Life, we can just see his wonderful talent at work. Finally, for the people who enjoy whimsy in their work, is a wonderful print called Zohiki, or Pulling the Elephant, from the Kabuki play. It's one of Takahashi Hiromitsu's work, and he in fact chose a very crimply handmade paper to make you feel the elephant's skin. So everyone, I wish you a happy holiday and a wonderful new year.